I started seeing this product on TikTok like so much and I was like okay Take my hand and hold it tight Look at the paintings I'll be your guide Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Alexa and I post curly hair videos weekly So please make sure to like and subscribe that way you can be updated and watch my videos every week To the people who have been subscribing, it means so much to me. I really appreciate it So in today's video, I'm actually going to be reviewing a product that I've tried before and it's the Mark Anthony Strictly Curls this is actually not the first time that I've used this product so it's not gonna be one of those like first impressions I used to use this product a lot when I first started my curly hair journey so it was when my hair wasn't fully transitioned so I just wanted to know how this product will work now that my hair is curly and not how it was before my hair used to be really really damaged so I am really excited to just give you guys my I don't know what to call it like first impressions just because I used to use it before but I guess in a way it can kind of be first impressions because I just didn't know how this product will work on my hair now since my hair is fully transitioned one thing that I do want to mention is this product does have dimethicone in it and I know a lot of people like staying away from silicone especially if they are starting their curly hair journey i used to like avoid silicones a lot when i first started um this was actually one of like the first products that i started using so it was like back then when i didn't really know much about curly hair and i was getting into like the whole curly hair world and when i did start learning more about it i did stop using this product and i transitioned to like other hair brands like shea moisture um which has like a lot of natural ingredients in it but now that my hair is like fully transitioned and it's healthy i like using silicones here and there okay so what i'm gonna do is like i found it easier to like style my hair like doing half and half so i'm just gonna like split it and start here my hair is pretty dry also like if there's any product that you guys want me to review just comment below and let me know because i'm really like down to review any product especially since we're like in quarantine right now I've been in love with curly hair ever since I started embracing my curly hair and I used to work at Ricky's NYC like four years ago and that's when I started learning a lot about like hair products, ingredients, especially curly hair and ever since then I feel like I've just fallen in love with curly hair and I did want to start a YouTube channel before but I was just a little bit scared because I was like hmm like will people watch me will my videos be beneficial and then um like I do like I use YouTube religiously and I just never see like a lot of people with my hair texture so this product does have avocado oil and shea butter and it says that it's supposed to control defined coarse frizzy hair while adding moisture for soft natural frizz free curls or shine so my hair is definitely coarse and it's frizzy right now so like let's see if this helps so I'm gonna get this much also like one thing that I used to love about this product is how it smells like I loved using this in the summer before just because like I remember just like smelling it throughout the day and when I used to like wake up do my hair to go out I used to get so excited because it smelled so good it like smells like citrusy like a really like calming spa smell I don't know if that makes sense so this is the texture it's really like creamy it says to apply from roots to ends so when I was breaking the product through my hair, I honestly didn't feel like it was getting super soft or anything. It's just like something that I get from other products. My hair starts feeling really silky, but it just seemed like it was working and it was doing something to my hair. Thank you. 
what I'm gonna do that I remember I used to like do before because like in the product it says you should do it too or you can if you want to is just like twirl your curls with your fingers that way you can get more definition So now I just finished styling my hair. I'm just gonna air dry for an hour or two, then I'm going to go and diffuse my hair. So this is day one hair, and my hair was really soft on the first day. My hair did dry really fast. I was shocked. I soon figured out that the fifth ingredient in this product makes your hair dry fast. So there's like some frizz, certain areas. Like especially like down here I don't know if you guys can see it but it's still like super super defined with a little bit of frizz and this is how the back of my hair looks like so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take a little bit of product like maybe this much to do like half because I'm actually gonna to spray some water on my hand That way, like, it creates more product. And I'm just going to look for those areas that look, like, a little bit frizzy. And I feel like need a little bit more of definition. I started seeing this product on TikTok, like, so much. And I was like, okay, I need to try that again. Because, I don't know, there's, like, there's this, like, trend going around with this product. So this product definitely gives you definition. I feel like it gives you more of like those looser curls. It doesn't really create a lot of curl clumps throughout my hair. So I do give this product a thumbs up. I don't think it's like the best if you want like frizz to be eliminated completely. Just keep in mind that I did use this product on its own. I didn't put any leave-in conditioner or any other product in my hair besides this. I did want to see how this product works on its own because it does say that it provides moisture and it gives you shine and it's also supposed to enhance your curl with control so i don't think it eliminates frizz 100 percent like the frizz is still there but it does help to tame the frizz and my hair is really 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 coarse so maybe if your hair isn't as coarse as mine then it might eliminate frizz completely Hey guys, so this is day 3 here and it's 11.40 right now and I just wanted to come here real quick to show you how my hair is holding up on day 3. So to be honest, I'm going to wash my hair today. I think even if I refresh, um, it feels like there's just like too much buildup on my hair and I don't really think if I refresh or anything it will like work really really well so at this point yes I will wash my hair I think this product doesn't hold up really well for like a week or more than three days that's just my opinion for my own hair there are other products that I might leave on my hair for like a week or so and yeah this isn't one of those products so i'm probably going to use a sulfate shampoo like let's see I'll probably use this shampoo that i have right here and it does have sulfate so that's gonna help remove the dimethicone i just want to show you guys some like options or like some shampoos that i use um this one's a little dirty like another shampoo where the conditioner actually spilled on it i'm probably gonna go either with this that moss shampoo from aveda 
just because I really like this. It's like really weightless. It claims it's a weightless hydration shampoo and I feel like that's true. When I wash my hair with this shampoo and it does have sulfates, my hair doesn't feel stripped or anything. It just feels really moisturized for some reason. So I might go with this one. I do like this one more than this one. So these are just like two different options. This one is just more expensive and this one's more affordable. I actually got this in my curl box so it wasn't like that expensive I think I'm probably gonna use this deep condition after thank you so much for watching today's video it means so much to me please make sure to like and subscribe I will be posting another video soon